Imagine if you could buy an electric car with 1,000 miles of range, with a battery that could be charged to 80% in around eight minutes. And imagine that that car was actually good, such as a Tesla Model Y. This actually could happen. In fact, America's most interesting and innovative battery company probably isn't actually Tesla, but it's located right next door to Tesla's 4680 battery cell production site. An American company is currently making the world's highest energy density batteries. These batteries are actually not theoretical. They've shipped over 10,000 batteries to customers. However, the key and most interesting part to this story is that Amprius Technologies, their valuation has shrunk. They had a SPAC merger where the company went public and it was valued, the company was valued at nearly $1 billion. Now its stock price has plummeted. It's now worth only 350 million. And that, in my opinion, is an absolute bargain. If you consider the fact this company is about to go big. They're building a gigafactory right next to Tesla, literally actually in the same factory in Fremont. And where Tesla builds 4680 cells, where they will be building commercial gigascale amounts of these batteries. Now, how is that even interesting? Well, because these batteries have a much higher energy density than any other batteries currently in an electric car. If you put these batteries, for example, into a Tesla vehicle, which is built not far away, it could potentially have double the range. I'm not overstating this at all. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. If Tesla wanted to go and increase the range of its EVs, if it wanted to provide some sort of luxury EV, it probably could do so today. But scale is key. You need a lot of scale. You can't just go and buy a small number of batteries from a, a company and say, here you go, here's a great EV. We can't make any more of them because we can't enough, get enough batteries to make more of them. It doesn't work. So the key here is scale. The other key is price. Amprius has announced a 10 times capacity expansion at its Fremont, California battery production facility. But it's not just building massive amounts of, not just planning on building massive amounts of batteries in California. It's also doing it somewhere else. Amprius Technologies is the manufacturer of the highest energy density lithium ion battery cells in the world. The company says its cells have 500 watts per kilo in specific energy density, or at a watts per liter basis, 890 to 1,400. Uh, that is insane. At 500 watts per kilo, this would easily enable an electric aircraft. I mean, commercial electric aircraft. But of course, commercial electric aircraft need a lot of batteries. So that's the key challenge here. And Amprius, well, they're saying they're about to solve it. I'm personally very interested in investing in this company. I think maybe you should consider it as well. I have no incentive in telling you this. It's only to say, well, could this be the next Tesla that we're just not looking at it from the right, right direction. Everyone's saying, which car company is going to be the next Tesla? I don't think there will be one, but there could be a battery company that will become the next version of Tesla, or maybe the Tesla of batteries. So how does Amprius do this? Well, they use a proprietary silicone nanowire anode technology that enables a step change improvement over traditional graphite-based lithium-ion cells. High energy density and volumetric energy density matters when cramming batteries into things like EVs, where volume and space is limited and where weight really does matter. The heavier the vehicle, the lower it's going to get in terms of range from the same amount of batteries. Now, this kind of technology is hugely important to the aeronautical industry, to drones, to anything where weight is absolutely crucial. After going public last year, in a merger, or a SPAC merger that valued Amprius at 940 million US dollars, well, their stock price has plummeted from a high of 13 US dollars on the 23rd of September 2022. The price is now sitting at a staggeringly low $3.78. Valuing the company at only $334 million. So 
why has the stock price fallen so far? Honestly, I don't know. I think it's just that the hype has moved on. People are not talking about them. They're not really in the news. Well, they could be if one thing were to happen. Now, considering this company is about to build essentially two battery gigafactories, one of them right next to Tesla, could it be in Tesla's interest to potentially use these batteries in, say, their highest performing electric car, or maybe even Lucid, for example? If either Tesla or Lucid wanted to make an EV today with 1,000 kilometers of range or 600 miles of range, they could do so if they use these batteries. Now, Tesla might be thinking to themselves, well, they're a bit expensive, that's possible. But once production ramps up, the price will come down. And even vehicles like, say, a Cybertruck or the Tesla Roadster would really benefit from having battery cells with double the energy density of what they have today in the Cybertruck today. This is literally double. Interestingly, Empress's initial battery factory is actually in the middle of buildings occupied by Tesla. In fact, their facility is right next to Tesla's Cato Road 4680 battery cell pilot factory. And what's also really intriguing is that many people have speculated that Tesla would purchase Amprius. It hasn't happened. Elon Musk actually said Tesla weren't planning on doing so, but it still could, especially at today's very low valuation. Amprius's initial breakthrough in silicon nanowire anodes was theorized back in 2008 and became a reality in 2014 when the first prototypes were developed based on the concept. Kyle Field from Clean Technica says that the foundational building block of their high energy density and high volumetric density cell starts with a blank piece of conductive substrate. Small nanowires are then impregnated onto the substrate as a framework for the crystalline silicon structure to grow on. After years of research and continued innovation, Amprius has refined the concept into a full-fledged production line using largely off-the-shelf battery production equipment. That's what makes this all so miraculous to me. I'm, I'm still baffled at why no one is really paying any attention to this company, because they absolutely should be. They built their own proprietary production process for the steps unique to their battery, which is now in its third major revision. The current production process uses production equipment from the solar cell manufacturing space with special modifications to adapt it to their needs. Amprius's team is confident they can scale up from the kilowatt hour scale into megawatt hours worth of cells at their current facility. In addition to that, Amprius is working on a full blown gigawatt hour scale production facility in Colorado, in Denver. How is all this happening? Well, government incentives are pretty much aligning perfectly with where Amprius is at. Amprius is in a position where they're saying, you know what, we just need some more incentives. We need some assistance from the government. Every company at some point is in a position where it needs funding. Amprius needs that to grow, to get to the point where this company could potentially become one of the biggest players in the battery industry in North America, maybe even the biggest. Now, here's what the CEO said. The expansion of our Fremont facility is an important milestone for our business as we significantly bolster our capacity to meet the increasing demands of our customers while at the same time serving more. As we implement advanced manufacturing processes for our proprietary silicon anode cell production, we'll be able to lay the foundation for our gigawatt scale factory that we expect to be operational in 2025. Now, there's no real given, there's no certainty that it will happen, but if it does, the stock price of Amprius could blow up significantly. As part of the production ramp of the Amprius Fremont facility, they're moving from purchasing cathodes to actually building those in-house. Amprius's cathode production facility is currently empty. However, the equipment was ordered months ago. They expect to have cathode production coming online in the early part of 2024. So who do Amprius currently sell batteries to? Well, the business is currently anchored in defense contracts. Batteries that they manufacture are used in micro reconnaissance, drones, weapon systems, and surveillance systems. It's not what they plan on though. They say on their website that they're now focused on supplying batteries to EV manufacturers. Is that what they want to do? They plan on hitting that kind of scale needed to supply big companies such as Tesla, or maybe even their rivals, maybe even Ford, General Motors, Lucid, or Rivian. Either way, I think this company has huge potential. It may not actually play out the way I see it playing out, 
but I think it's definitely worth having a good look at. Let me know if you agree. Thanks for watching.